Ty Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, giving our praises on and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raka Kadash, double honor. So, our elders, the apostles of Great Mill, Sunnah, surely do you well. And citation, teach, and every one of the Akim that push this gospel out in sincerity and truth. Right? These are some of the brothers from Trinidad Kim, right? Brother Lamad. Brother Kwam. Brother Awad. Right? Coming to do a quick edification to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? Um, Spirit and power, yeah, by Shem and Shai, um, guide us to do this class, all right. Um, and we just basically touching on, um, Revelation chapter 14 and 12 and 13, all right. Because a lot of people who go to church they believe in their head that the 144,000 and the chosen people come from their church or the congregation, just like um, the Jehovah Witnesses, and as the brother Kwame was telling me, the Seventh day Adventists also believe. Mm -hmm. That the 144,000, right, which are seen inside the Lord, however, the case is also they come from um, their church, right? But we're just jumping into some scriptures. Well, Revelation 7, self explanatory, but we're going into Revelation chapter 14, also speaking about um, the sin inside the Lord and so forth, right? So, Revelation chapter 12, um, 14, verse 12 and 13, it says, Here is the patience of the saints. He are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh Shai, who the world and called Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Alright, so we just um touching into certain things, see how we can break it down piece by piece. Through the Spirit and Paul Yahweh Shai Shai. So it says here is the patience of the saints. Mm -hmm. So we'll jump into um, Psalms 147 and verse 19 to 20, right? Because the word saint goes back to um, holy, uh, se uh, separated. All right. So the Mosai, he chose a, a particular people and he called them the saints. All right. So it's actually a nation of people. So. Psalms 147 and verse 19. Alright, it says, um, Psalms 147 verse 19. Alright, it says, He showed his word on the Jacob, his status and his judgment unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any, with any nation, and as for their judgment, they have not known them. Praise the hour. Come, um, just some slack. I believe that is your Psalms. Read it. Psalm, um. Salah, just bear with us one, one second. One. Um. One. Which one every day? 147? Mm hmm. Um. Um. Psalms 148. Start from Lampus. 30. Start from 13. Psalm 148, verse, verse 13. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horns of his people. He also exalted what? The horns of his people. The horn, horn goes back to rulership, so the rulership of his people. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1, which starts with the blessings, Right, the Lord said, if we kept his commandments, he will put us above all the other nations of the earth. Right, so we were supposed to rule. The blessing that he gave Jacob, who surnamed Israel, was that all these other nations will bow to him and serve him. Right, go ahead. This praise, it says, it's the people of all in, of the people, praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Go ahead. Even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise Yahweh. Yeah, so it basically solidifying, right? When it says even the children of Israel, some people like to say because he said even emphasize. He, yeah, but he, he was he was actually going into a yes. this the, the saints are the children of like Israel. Psalms one forty nine and nine. Psalms one forty nine and nine. Yeah, if I could add in um the even it emphasizing on, on what you say is that going like an extreme now way can right psalms 149 and 9 to execute upon them the judgment written 
this owner have all his sins praising Yahweh, right? To execute upon them the judgment written, this owner have all his sins. Now, let me just read this. This is Numbers 24, right? And verse 8, it says, God brought him forth out of Egypt. So who the most High brought out from Egypt? The children of Israel. He had as it were the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, the nations, his enemies, the other nations that are not the children of Israel, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. So the Lord brought judgment, right? And how the most does bring judgment? He said, what? Thou art my battle axe and my weapons of war. Psalm, um, no, Jeremiah, I think is 51 verse 14, somewhere around there. Right, if I'm not mistaken, if not 50, 51, verse 14, 17, somewhere around there, right? To execute upon them the judgment written, this owner have all his saints. Because, matter of fact, one more precept. This is the book of Micah, chapter 5. Micah, chapter 5, and I believe it's up wrong, verse 5. Just know it all started in Micah 4. Where are we selling anything? Thing here. Um, so I, I have it here. This is uh, Micah 5 and 7. And the remnant of Jacob, as I say, Jacob's son in Israel, shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarry it not for man. Nor waited for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion amongst the beasts of the forest, as a young lion amongst the flocks of sheep. Who, if he go through, both tread it down and tear it in pieces and none can deliver. You understand? So this judgment have um, praise of all the saints, right? Mm. Where that? Um, quick one. Psalms 50 and 5, right? Um, it says, um, for it says, He shall call to heaven, to the heaven from above, mm -hmm. and to the earth, and he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Um, and, so like, will you wait, wait. Yeah, it can. I'll be and say, and, and it says, by um. By sacrifice, they that um, it's like it says, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Um, you can remember the law sprinkling, right? Numbers 24. Numbers 24, Exodus 28. Yeah, and, and who made that, that covenant with the Lord by sacrifice is the nation, is there? no other nation but his, his um, people, which are the saints. You know, you better go and get the scripture to back up. Well, that's it. That is a yapa. That is a very yapa point. Come. Hey, yeah, Sam's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam's forty-seven. Um, he shall um, what do you call it? He tells mm -hmm. everybody who it. Yeah. Exodus twenty-four. Exodus yeah, come. See numbers forty-seven. So, uh, yeah, Exodus so chapter twenty-four. And verse seven. Mm -hmm. It says, Hey, and look how much points don't bring out already in the first verse. Up to now, the seventh day Adventists, they wouldn't even know where to start to prove okay. that they, they are the saints. This is Exodus chapter 24, and verse 6. And Moses took half of the blood mm -hmm. and oh. put it in basin, and half of the blood he sprinkled. On the altar, and he took the book of the covenant and read the book of the covenant, covenant which means read. the agreement they made. Mm -hmm. a, 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 it says what it says, um, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, right? And the Lord requires blood because the scripture said the blood is mine. 
You understand? Not by word or mouth, you say, well, well, all you keep doing the, the, the commandments, with the seven day Adventists, they do that. Mm-hmm. But they, they try to keep the commandments, but they go off. But the Jehovah Witness, where they say, God turn away with the law. Mm-hmm. Law, statutes, commandments, precepts, ordinances, basically, is the same thing, but it have different measures, but all of them are laws. Ordinances is more like ceremonial laws, how to yeah. keep ceremonies, precepts is, um, it's a long time I never went into it, 